This is Robert Irvin, the Oaks developer. I'd like to just touch on the subject of environmental design and how you go about it. First, you understand your environment. Guanacaste is a high desert environment. Water is scarce, water is precious. Therefore, in developing the Oaks, I looked for a site that has good water. The Oaks has excellent water with three functioning wells that provide good, pure drinking water to all of the residents and more, to our neighbors as well. The next thing about water in a desert environment is not only do you need the water, you need to control it. So one of the very first things I did was to form what was one of the last water associations that was allowed by the government in Costa Rica called an ASADA. And fortunately, uh, my wife is the president of the ASADA and I am the treasurer. With this control, we have been able to assure the quality of the water from the point where it comes out of the ground to where it comes out of your tap. Okay. The second aspect of water is conservation. In order to conserve water, we built a state-of-the-art tertiary wastewater treatment plant that returns your gray water to a degree of 95 to 98 percent purity and the water is then recycled as irrigation. The next thing about the environment is that the standard coast is that the standard Costa Rican practice in development is simply to cut down all of the trees and then build the buildings and plant the new foliage. We didn't do that. At considerable cost and aggravation, we saved 70% of the trees that were originally on site in the construction zone. Those trees have now grown an additional nine years since we began, and they provide the oaks with a lush tree cover that not only provides beauty, but also lessens your air conditioning costs. Because the other factor that is in scarce supply or in high cost is electricity. Conserving electricity is a big deal. Therefore, instead of putting central air conditioning into each unit, we put in three high efficiency carrier mini split units to reduce your electric bill and to reduce the demand on the system. We also look to protect the local wildlife and in particular the monkeys which always live in trees. The only monkey that is on the ground is a monkey that is in distress. So we were very careful to do two things. One was to preserve tree corridors so that the monkeys can move freely about their natural range, not only near the oaks, but also away from the oaks. And the second thing that we did was we put the utility lines, the electric lines, underground. This not only provides us with a better electric service, but it eliminates the risk of high voltage electric lines for the monkeys who live next to them in the trees. And when you come to the Oaks, each morning and each evening, you can go out to the yoga pavilion and let the monkeys watch you and take some magnificent photos of them.